Hello, hello to all the amazing YouTube people. The Neomer here with some more Library of Ruin. Uh, so we successfully completed uh, Ned Sack's Ensemble fight last time. It was, uh, well, kind of easy. <laughs> I guess I had a really strong group going in. Today we're gonna be doing Tiferet. Um, and then we need to have Gebura here and Chest. And I really hope after we do this three, uh, whatever locks in these two, uh, everything's gonna reset once again. So, yeah. So we can take a little bit stronger groups since we will only have to split three ways here. So my plan here is to take Malkut and Yesod and combine these two together. For one pretty powerful team and uh, yeah, that should make it pretty easy. So I'm thinking I'll grab, I'll grab uh, Maxim, uh, Purple Tear, uh, Yay, Jujin and... Uh, Halo, right. Uh, so let's go and do that. So we're gonna go here, here. So we set Jujin, right? Jujin's probably the weakest one of the. Oh, <laughs> I remember rapid caches. Hmm. Could we have done this a bit more powerful? Rapid caches clone combination? I don't know. In any case, there we go. Uh, Kalo, there, Patron Librarian of Philosophy's page, what's up with that, Don Juan, the great one fixer, wait, 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 wait. who is Patron Librarian of Philosophy? Social sciences, language, natural sciences, art, technological sciences, history. Uh, revert attribution. Why doesn't it say like a, a proper page here though? See, here it says Irina's page, here it says Jujin's page, here it says Patron Librarian of Philosophy's page. Wait. No. I'm not sure what's up with that. Ah, oh, it's Bina, isn't it? It's Bina. Okay. Right, so let's continue what we are doing here. So, Jujin, Kalo. Uh, purple tier, was it? Yeah, I think so. Purple tier. There we go. Maxim. Ba -da -ba 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 -ba. Maxim, hello Maxim, where are you? There. And yay. And that's gonna be a pretty strong group, I think. Let me just check that I did not break apart two other groups. Alien, Philip, Mirina, and Irina. Okay. Nikolai, Shaw, Olivier, Greta, and Alan. Cool. So, we go with this group. Uh, who's gonna be the leader here? Purple Teal has Mind Holler and Health Holler. Okay, we have two health haulers here. This should be really easy. And Kalo can heal as well. Maybe a little bit too much healing, to be honest. Mm. I'm only worried. Well, here we're going to have Gebura. 
No, that's okay. Let's go. Gonna be a little bit easier today. And we can revert if I'm gonna feel like I don't have enough oomph for the rest of the two. Are you ready to begin the reception of the floor of natural sciences? I am. <clears throat> However, my voice doesn't seem like it is. Gonna get there though. Yeah, well, I only have time to record in the morning, so. Oh. See, this is what was confusing me, right? Last. Uh, in the last reception, there was mention of Oswald here with the mermaid. Yeah, when this character is defeated, Oswald takes 40 stagger damage at the end of the scene. So Mermaid was mentioned, uh, Oswald was mentioned, but there was no Oswald, so I was very confused what's going on. So there's like another fight here with Mermaid being resurrected, and that feels a little bit weird, but okay. Resonating Terror. Okay. And then we got Mr. Knife. When this character is defeated, Oswald takes 40 stagger damage at the end of the scene. At the start of the scene, exhaust all pages in hand and deck at right shimmering. Casual toss. Cross cut. <laughs> Guillotine. And Knife Barrage. If the last die fails to deal damage, inflict self with two feeble next scene. Gain one haste and strength next scene. And nothing super special, however, Oswald here. Shimmering, speed 2, Enduring, ineffective. There's no time for staggering strengths. Takes half as much stagger damage from attacks that deflects. On combat scene, uses a combat page that stupefies the librarian with the highest HP. Once a librarian snaps out of stupefaction, the page will be used in two scenes. At the start of the scene, give one strength, one endurance, and three protection to the stupefied librarian. Wait, what? At the start of the scene, give one strength, endurance, and three protection to the librarian. The librarian stagger takes 60 stagger damage at the end of the scene. After librarians are freed from stupefaction two times, use a mass attack page in the following scene. Collaborative performance. This is so weird. Good job! If the last die on this page loses in a clash, the opponent gains one haste and endurance next scene. So he's like cheering for us. Okay. Here, catch. Well done! If the first die on this page loses in a clash, the opponent gains one strength next scene. Nice work! If all of dice on this page loses in a clash, the opponent restores to light. When we meet, stagger target. Target is stupefied next scene. We need you, you know? Climax! Mass summation. All of you, once I begin, inflict one of the following statuses to targets at random. Fragile, disarm, feeble, to protections, to strength, to endurance. 20 to 20. Okay, seems like a pretty easy fight, to be honest. So he just wants to do some performances here. Right. I mean, I mean, it's kind of cool and atmospheric, but I don't see anything that would be a big threat to me, to be honest. This place has an unfamiliar scent in the air. Hmm? Ah, ah the, down there is a river that looks like a very large stream containing blueberries and juiced mountain snake berries. An old olfactory mixture of mint and cloth would make a stingy scent like this. This stage has a blindingly sparkly rust, a stark contrast from ours. Splendid! I couldn't ask for a better place to prepare for a grandiose performance, don't you think so, Mr. Knife? Mm, what a noisy guest! Oh, two yikes and a hop! My heart almost popped out of my eye hole. Are you an audience? Just a guest or maybe a fellow clown to help out with the show? I'm taking a second look and there's more of you. Are you guys a Matryoshka doll? In secret? Mm, let's see, one, two, eh, too many to count. Ah, now just one moment, take a look at this. Miss Mermaid is lifting her microphone high in excitement. You're getting nowhere with your frantic speech, so could you please stick to one topic at a time? And you, you'd be the guest here if you're being pedantic. A clown can't be in charge of producing his own show, you know? <laughs> this is a showbiz to you, miss. 
I don't get what's so funny. Now, now, why don't we sniff each other's wrists in a true fashion of clown-to-clown -clown communication ritual? I wore a whiff of peppery sense today. Wait, wait, you startled me. It's rude to stick your face into others without asking. Do you understand? How cold people these days are way too stuck up. We are entering a moist era where laughter runs dry. People get so easily upset over tiny things. Sup sup, woe is me. If a clown can be filled with laughter, they'll flop like a deflated balloon. Anger is a natural human emotion though. It's not natural. Only those who carry some kind of hopes and dreams make such stinky candles. candies. Expectations for a bar of chocolate, a hamster object, the better other people and for themselves. Well, he was crazy even before he met Argolia. They arbitrarily entertain the expectations and make candies without even getting a note from one they have their hopes on and won't even eat their candies themselves. Because they know what their own candies taste awful. So instead, they put them in the mouths of others. More expectations means more foul smelling candies. They hold those bells of stench in our arms, looking to shove them into someone else's stomach. I have no idea what he's talking about. I'll need a translation. Then how is one supposed to live in a life without any expectations? Did a blade of grass ask for you to have them? Did the gentle sun allow you to have them? Who in the world told you that it's right to hold expectations? <laughs> that tingles my mouth almost as much as celery leaf does. Oh, how hilarious. When you don't hold expectations, you get a see more eye source. When you don't have anger, you get to enjoy zestier and bitterer, bitterer flavors. Treat everything like a rolling ball, you cheer for it wherever the spear decides to go. If you truly wish for the good of other people, why don't you stop holding expectations and just laugh with them at their side? Everyone who lives here is a clown. Clowns who can't survive without feeding on each other's smiles, you see. I see your point. No different. No point there. Just a lot of, you know, no point. You're right, holding expectations for someone isn't always a good thing for them. While I can't fully agree with your opinions, I admit there are parts that ca I can't completely disregard. Oh, I just want to make a world full of laughter, one where everybody can laugh without a care. Frowny faces are just too scary. However, to hold expectations is to trust that person. Yes, I agree. You're simply running from the fear of failing to meet the expectations of others. Ha am I? Is it a crime to wish for happiness? Since when was it bad to wish for a world where all people can laugh? Hmm, isn't that an expectation as well, mister? I guess we have different kinds of laughters we want to display in our shows as performers. You're in no different from us, folks, in that you run a show hoping to make people smile the smile you want to see. Let's begin the performance to make another clown laugh. That's enough introduction. Shall we begin playing on the tongue of now, huh? <laughs> yeah, in your language we have to fight to protect the stages we stand on. Okay, well, he truly is a clown. Oh, the show is about to begin. I hope there's no idiots who sit around like a duck on my team. You aren't terrified, are you? It feels as we're in a circus. They look similar to the two and those animals we received time, some time ago. We have to do this, I suppose. Yes, we do. Two hundred ineffective. All dice in this space lose in a clash. Opponent restores to light. Okay. On hit, they'll eight stagger damage. What do we have here? Oh, hello. Rapid gashes. This page cost is lower, but number of other gashes. Rapid gashes in hand. Go. 
So let's see. Uh, I'm trying. I'm looking for uh, somebody with a uh, few defenses here, but I guess this is okay. Okay, let's see. Next thing. If all dice in this page lose in a clash, the opponent restores to light. I don't feel like that's super important, but. Chi Van. Combat star, take 10 death damage from the burn on for this scene. If user has burn, record for HP and gain to protection for the next scene. Whole bunch of burn to each other, alright. Yeah, this group's not like the, the strongest group ever. <laughs> Oh, this thing is weak to, to peers. Well, that's fortunate. And this is... Not that great, actually. The one page... I will need... The Clash. You can clash there, there we go. Okay, field mods. On hit, seal a speed die of the target next scene. Can say I'm a huge fan of that. Three to five. Hmm. How do we even defeat that? Yeah, I'm not sure here. So, you need uh, like two defensive dice to remove that. And then something strong there, but it's not so simple. I mean, I'm not too troubled if he seals something, so it's okay. Just gonna let it go. Yeah, because I can't be bothered. Okay. Um, there we go. Well, it's good if this goes against something with three dice, so we actually get uh, energy back so I could do that I guess hmm. or yeah I need to level up here there we go so we're gonna get it back anyway oh well how about here five nine uh, okay we need some ammunition can do multi slash then. Cool. And here, I'm just gonna play field mods, I guess. Cool. Ineffective. Yeah, that wasn't the, like the best attack. Ah, it was a good way to defend, I guess, but other than that... I mean, this fight, like... I'm barely gonna be taking any damage, I, I think. It was just gonna be too, 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 too short. Unless there's some surprises. Oh, I should definitely check his passives. Wait. But we already took a... Uh, we could use helping hand action. The second scene uses the combat page to supervise the librarian with the highest HP. Yeah. When we meet, stagger target. Target is stupefied next scene. 
Wait, what? He uses a combat page that stupefies the Labyrinth with the highest HP. Well, last time I checked... That's the target with the lowest HP. But okay. Resonating Terror. Well, now there's a scary card. Mass Individual. Whole bunch of stagger damage. If the last day fails to the... Okay. Knife Barrage. Right. Well... Against this thing, actually, the best thing I can do is... Uh, vapor. Because this is a ranged attack, uh, so Vapor will defend against all of these. It's not... it's strong against Slash, though. Do we have anything else here that would be good? Do we just take this? It's a lot of damage. I can, like, partially defend against it, I guess. Fight. Well done. Whatever. Right. Uh, you're also weak against Pierce. So piercing attacks here are a really good thing. I have too many of them though. Oh wait. Somebody has... Well, endurance, sure. Well, I can play gashes before it gets stupefied, right? No, but that's a ranged attack. Okay. So basically, you can't play anything here. I mean, we can try it, just not gonna work. Okay. Mass individual. I can, the second one I can defend probably. If I want to go like that. I miss my BN now. What are we gonna do with the knife barrage here? Oh yeah, I already said I want to do vapor. I guess all oh, we can switch now. Okay. Um. We do that then. Mm. Try this. Yeah, it's like. Oh, wait, what? I messed it up? Yeah, I guess I did. Once we defeat some of them, it's gonna be easier. Uh. Yeah, stupefy. Okay. So what happens now? How do we get the person out of the stupefication? After winning a clash, random ally. Okay. Uh, justice. Okay, I'm gonna take love. Who's gonna get it? Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Stupefy two last two scenes, uncontrollable targets allies. Upon losing a clash, takes bonus stagger damage equal to five percent of max stagger resist. 
If the target is staggered, this status is removed at the end of the scene and the character recovers from stagger next scene. Okay, cool. Here, catch. So basically it has mind control. Yeah, it will not be a too big of a problem. Oops. Scrolled way too much high. Okay, so this one's dead. Okay. Yeah, why did it take... It took the person with the most max HP, I guess? That's so weird. Uh, <laughs> like, how do we even do this? We don't, right? Yeah, let's just look gonna let it do its thing, I guess. Okay. We can win this. If the first die loses in a clash, the opponent's against one string next scene. I can go on that with my vapor if I want to. It's kind of important to destroy this thing now though. Uh, this we can just let go, I guess. Oh, we finally have Will of the Prescript, so that's gonna be good. Okay. Good, 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 so... That's fine. Oh, okay. If the last die, right. Mm. I mean, I can try with sturdy defense, but... You know. <laughs> it's gonna be like a toss-up. Uh, okay, you also have Will of the Prescript. Not sure how much damage we have to land here. But better more than less. To make sure it dies, right? And what else do we have here? Right, this thing. Um, destroy all dice on target's page. I mean, I'm fine with that. I just want to defend. I could do wield the prescript here as well, actually. There. Now this thing is done for sure. Okay, my stagger, not in a great spot. I'll go here to recover a lot of stagger resist. This thing, I'm just gonna let through. He's very tanky, so should be fine. Okay, we can lose a die here if that lands, but... On Clash, we destroy all of target's dice. Well, I don't wanna clash though, so it's not gonna clash. Just gonna take the damage and that's fine. I'll try. I'll try. There we go, recovered all of my stagger there, wonderful. There might not be enough damage here, I just realized. Okay, barely. There we go. Why must you torment us innocent beings into only wish to bring laughter? Is everyone doing okay? Listen, the type of laughter you're causing, I'm not a huge fan of, so I'm really sorry, but hate. After losing a clash, take two to four stagger damage and gain one strength next scene. After losing three crashes in a single scene, it was the cost of the most expensive page in hand by one once. Justice, right? Hate. Love and hate, right? So we're gonna do something smarter this time. Oh, you're gonna play clone. Okay, that's cool. Um, <laughs> kind of like that. Wait, what? Okay, I can see her cards. <laughs> so she's gonna clone what? Rapid gashes? I mean, I'm fine with that. That's what I want to do anyway. 
Ready for a surprise. Doesn't do anything. Poke a blow. Mm. Oh, we actually defended against that last round. That was good. Okay, Siren next, I believe. Yeah. Okay. Well, overcharge is good. Overcharge actually has very good numbers. Um, I actually don't really have good good way to fight against that, to be honest. Concentration. I want to play concentration, so then I can do energy conversion. There we go. We're gonna run into these. Hunter dies though, which I'm not a big fan of. Mm. I'm gonna play, in, play it anyway, whatever. Okay, let's see, somebody takes that. And she can take it with a sturdy defense again. Well, you actually could use some stagger resist. How likely are you win again, to win against these? Well, not very likely. I want to go to 20 charge. Okay, let's go. Like that. Rewind. <laughs> Wait, does anyone else have like some kind of stuff? Oh, you do. All right, of course you do. <laughs> you do, do you? Okay, that looks okay. Yeah, I'm not gonna fight her. She's just gonna join back on my side. Mm, so Pierce attacks are best here. Destroy all dice on target's page. Clash win. We're good against blunt, so we can just ignore that. Good old times, where we just ignore half of the stuff enemy does. Ah, uh, by that combat. Multi slash, I guess. Yeah, let's just take this thing down here. Okay. Yeah, let's do overcharge. Wait, we are in defensive stance, right? So we cannot uh, remove all status segments, so we cannot be immobilized by the. Oh, wait, this is status ailment. Is she immune to that? She might as well be. It just might. There we go. Having fast dice really helps a lot. It's very resilient. It even has fragile. I feel like my attacks are not doing as much. There we go, finally staggered. Oh, now we are talking. Oh, I just realized. I didn't put any smoke on yet. No wonder things are going so slow. Me. Okay. The first spot on our side. Welcome back to the team. Okay, you wanna... Wait. Can I cheese it? This is very dangerous. Um, that's fine. You will not know how to change your stances, right? Okay, well, let's try to cheese it here. 
Thought I could give her something weaker. <laughs> no, no, I wanna see. I wanna see the mechanic. I wanna see if uh, PT is immune to uh, stupefy. If she's immune to mind control, mind ya. Uh, okay, rapid gash is close to now, which is kind of cool. What else are you doing? 9 to 12. Um, 9 to 12. 7 to 12. 7 to 12. Yeah, no, where is this going? There we go, and this, 4837. Okay. A defensive card here would be cool. Yeah, I know. This is so good for me that... We have any defensive cards? Yeah, a little bit. Not sure why I'm using such an expensive card for it, but you know. And you... I don't know, whatever. Why must you torment us innocent beings into only wish to bring laughter? I'm not a fan of shows that are too loud. Well, well said, well said. Get the jujint. Intemperance. If the first die of a combat page wins a clash, the all remaining dice and the opponent at 25% chance. Again, one for each clash, one in a scene. Companion. When there is no companion present, the first enemy the select the baron hits is marked as one. When the select the baron defeats the companion, all brands restore three light and record an HP and stack resist. Okay, that's useless. The sword shaped with tears. Seal a speed eye of target for the next scene. I like that. Mass individual. Well, mass cards destroy the 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 things, the the pages, so we could destroy that thing. In the name of love and hate. Twenty two to thirty three. Mass individual nine to fifteen. I'm gonna get this. The sword sharpened with tears. Oh look at that, it worked. So what happens now? Uh, <laughs> he's like, uh, nope, I'm just gonna grab somebody else. Uh, okay, I like that. I think that's really cool. I think that's really cool. It's, it definitely targets the person with the lowest HP though. I definitely don't want it to take different because it's gonna do rapid caches. Ah, this is fine, I guess. Okay. Nine to twelve. So there's like this whole mechanic, like uh, which I'm like. Kind of ignoring here, like I should be like gaining these effects. The open gains one string next scene, stuff like that. Like I'm just basically refusing to take part in the performance. That's what I'm doing. Oh, oh we have enough light. Well, you have enough light.
six, ten, and let's just go there. We steal some dice. There we go. I'm using a sail smoke here so it doesn't use it on me next round. Okay, okay, so we basically bought ourselves one turn and that's it. Not really my proudest achievement ever. Okay. Okay, Oswald, you're all alone. And now we're gonna seal you with the stars. Oh wait, what? Oh, you can actually... Wait, what? That went off? The yay thing? What's going on? No, no, okay, it is here, okay. Alright, so you're gonna have two dice now. Poke a blow! So what they're doing, build a prescript and energy conversion, okay. I mean, I can try with the uh, sturdy defense again, I guess. Although at this point... Oh! Wait, what? That's a bug. That's a bug. It turned an ineffective resistance into a normal one. That's a Dante bug. Okay. I'm just not gonna use any slash attacks because that feels like cheating. There's a little bit of it here though. I mean, I guess I could use that. Where is this going? How much damage does it do? Ah, that's too much. Okay. Uh, okay, you, of course that's a slash attack, but because why wouldn't it be? Okay, and that's also a slash attack. Uh, you know what we need? We need some smoke. Also vapor. Will be really good against this thing. And that's also a slash attack. Okay, actually, never mind. It's not my fault the game's broken. It's like super easy fight anyway, so whatever. There we go. I mean, yeah, it's kind of annoying that... Uh, yeah, so that did, did way more stacker damage than it should have. I'm gonna smoke it up now, so things will become a little bit faster here. Yeah, it's pretty... Like, endurance damage. So it's like, these fights go slow because they have Nuovo Fabric. And they have... Um, they have endurance, endurance resistances. So you need to stagger them in order to defeat them easily. What are doing this time? Okay. Now we put it up some more here. There we go. And then here. Ugh. I think it's time for some gashes. Against what, though? We should probably be fine here. There we go. And there. Hello there, big guy. What can you do? Uh, probably do one-sided attacks here, right? Well, it would be cool. Nah. We're really bad on light here. 
Yeah, we didn't really clash a lot. I should probably clash. This thing heals. I don't want to attack my friend. Okay, whatever. We don't fight. Elder Prescript. Good. Dagger Press. Good. Extract Fuel. Good. Yeah, now it's weak to Blunt because of the bug with the Dante. So Dante should turn uh, Endurance endured into normal but not ineffective. Right. What's here? Oh, look. Well, maybe now we can play something better. Let's play another Augury Kick, actually. There we go. Ready for a surprise? Well. I'm sure I surprised you with Dante. Okay, well, health will come down the, before the stagger, so basically the the bug which allowed me to get, do more stagger damage with Dante actually will not uh, be applicable for this fight anyway, so that's totally fine. Or it's gonna be very close anyway. But yeah, the crazy clown is going down real, real fast here. Right, the second brain is at uncontrollable and target random characters. Also, the brain gains two strength, restore two light. Nope. Intemperance. The first. Yeah, sure, gonna drop that. Nihil. Mass summation on use. If there are no pages in hand, inflict for feeble disarm, bind, and paralysis to all enemies this scene and next scene. No, oh, cool. Gold Rush, restore one light, gain one string next scene. Okay. Blind Rage. I guess I'll take Nihil, although that's like. At this point, impossible to gain. Oh, there we go. Climax. Mass Summation. Inflict one of the following status of targets at random. Too fragile to disarm. Too feeble to protect you, too strength to endurance. <laughs> yeah, that's so funny. 20 to 20 and 8. So at this point I was supposed to be very close to dying, I guess. So yeah, it didn't really work out that way for him, did it? So rapid gashes should defend against this most. Yeah, it will defend. Period. Shall we do? S shall we somersault these? Nice work. Field mods. I'm gonna get staggered. 20 to 20. Blunt. Well, she she's not gonna get staggered, that's for sure. How about you? I'm still not using this thing. I mean, it's nice healing, but I don't really need it. So where is this climax going? It's going there. Okay, overcharge wins that easily, right? 5, 9, 14. Well, not really. Fourteen. And it's going to stir the defense here. There we go. I'll overcharge as well because why not? Ba -da -ba -ba. I think we're pretty much done here. Okay. Where is this going? There. Okay. I think I'll try with a sturdy defense here. Uh, I don't know, dagger press and uh, raise the grass and you, well, you are in a bit of a trouble. 
gonna get no you're not gonna get staggered actually okay play that play uh, that okay you yeah I'm struggling here yeah, I totally didn't ma ma manage Kalo properly here here so I got stuck with a whole bunch of ammunition in hand and cannot draw my light gains, so I'm in a little bit of a stupid situation, so I'm just gonna place some ammunitions here. Should have done that a, a while ago. Ta -da -ta -da! Well, at least he got to get his uh, mass attack off, unlike uh, the person we fought in the, in the last episode. Pew 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 pew! Well, no pew pew for you. Let's see what goes down first, stagger or health. Turns out it's health. Most probably, maybe, possibly. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's gonna be health. Especially with, with the burn on, right? And it burns to that. I guess that's a satisfying end for the clown here. <laughs> laughing as he burns cursing us for destroying his ability to do happiness well another easy fight come on game do some challenges aileen was only challenging because i brought too weak of a group let's see also page let's have some fun well that's cool i guess oh it's manipulator 5% chance to boost attack damage by plus 4. Alright. Let's, uh, let's check out... Uh, let's check out... Uh, Oswald here. Yeah, we're gonna have to do it here though. Because those are locked. Splendid performance. When using combat page with three or more different types of non-counter dice, all dice on the page gain plus one power, then plus one damage. That's cool. I mean, this works on, uh, on Sturdy Defense, which is one of my favorite cards, so that's really good. And they take way less damage, all of them. Like, this Nuovo Fabric, it's a really good uh, ability. And let's see. We got a page called Let's Have Some Fun. And everyone can use it. On use, restore four light. So it's a two light gain card. For, for zero, basically. That's really good. That's like the best light gain card I have, right? But there's one more which does the same, right? But uses charge. Yeah, this is a really good card. I like it. Okay. Cool. Uh, let's go and read the credenza. I totally mastered this game. No, I didn't master it, but I'm destroying it. That's for sure. I'm still expecting the unexpected, but Oswald's page. People have hopes and dreams. I want to eat three blossoms of flowers. I want to buy a swifty nifty thrifty kitty. I want to earn a fortune. And then they add, maybe I'll find delicious flowers someday. Maybe I'll get fat stacks of cash in my paws someday. Maybe I'll be showered in the loudest applause someday. 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 Well, do it today. That's what I say as well. This is one thing I agree with the clown here. That dastardly someday just won't stop popping up. But to have hope, you got to prepare incense to offer those wishful prayers upon. A world where one can't eat flowers. I reminded that you're a sluggish turtle right now. The beggary reality is setting the stage for the performance we call hope. Thus and therefore people have the wrong idea about how to have hopes. 
If they believe that the hopes will come true someday, they'll just keep parroting that contemptible word, word. The day will never actually come. Having expectations this way will only leave you with bitter anger. I'll change someday. That person will turn over in a new leaf someday if I count on them and wait. Nyach. People entertain the hopes as they please and then bite at each other when they change the expected doesn't happen. Clowns can't give out smiles in a world full of mean theory friends. So we should all do the stretches starting today. Abandon all expectations. Expectations, just keep a merry positive attitude and laugh no matter what you see. Let's make a performance about what's already come true, not a supposed reality you hope for someday. I'm already on that stage, standing under the brightness spotlight ever. Well, even if this crazy thing here, I'm oh, sorry. Even if this crazy thing here makes no sense, sometimes I agree with this. If you wish for things to start happening, you have to start happening them now. But uh, maybe not like focus on goals, just try to be happy one day at a time and you know, what comes comes. Lower your expectations and you're gonna be a happier person, that actually works. It's still good to have goals in life, to have some structure and you know, tactics and strategy, what you plan for yourself. But you know, build towards it, but still, not a bad, uh, not a bad uh, vision like state of mind to have but anyway pretty easy fight i mean it goes a little bit slow because the the enemy has so much protection and resistances and everything but the damage on their part is just lacking so you just go through it without no pro without problems so to tomorrow we are gonna do geburas i guess should be nice and easy again i guess We'll see, and then finally chests the day after tomorrow. And then we're gonna have two floors left over for the next week, and we are closing to the end of this game. Once I finish it, I'm gonna be playing the Lobotomy Corporation, so if you're enjoying the universe, stay around to enjoy the ride. But that's gonna be it for today. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. In the meantime, I wish you all to have a wonderful day, do something nice. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode of Library of Ruina. Neomer signing out. Bye-bye.